Can you hear me? All right, I'm, I'm, you want me to restart my app, you said? They're all legal. Oh, That was a big six pound bass. Hello out there, Shay Baker here, wishing I was fishing. We are having a head to head challenge for 13 fishing with Dave LaFebra and Gene the Fluke Master Jensen. And without further ado, let's go ahead and bring those two cats up on the screen. What's going on, guys? Howdy, howdy. Hey, guys. I'm just more interested in whatever Gene's doing. I, you know, he's he keeps sending me pictures of these big giant Georgia bass every day. So it doesn't really matter where I'm at, does it? I'm in the Northland where our bass, where our big ones are as big as Gene's small ones. I just missed one. I'll show you my jig. This is the one that I fish on the bay all the time. It's just a 916, black and blue. And then you can see the, it's a flapping hog trailer from Yamamoto. It's just, you know, it's got that Yamamoto plastic, so it's got a lot of movement in the water. And I just cut all the appendages off to make a chunk out of it. And I've been doing that since they came out with it. And it's uh, pretty hard to beat for a jig trailer. Pretty hard to beat for a Texas rig too. As everybody knows, the Great Lakes have been super high this year. We're like two and a half, three feet high. So all the grass is uh, not growing as good. We've got that, usually where there's all these mats of milk foil and, coon, or and uh, curly leaf pond wheat. Now we've got just coontail that's, uh, you know, that's growing out deeper. So you're, you're, you're fishing clumps, but you can't really see them. I'm just kind of staying on the edge in like 10 to 6 feet of water and trying to Digging it. You know, right on that edge of the grass. Idle. You better catch them because things are fixing to happen over here in Pennsylvania. I got Zach, my church worship leader, is running the camera today, so you better watch what you say.
And what do I have again? I can't. I'm trying to keep track of everything. Oh, zero. Can, can we? Can we? I gotta just slow down. That happened. Fourteen and a half. Come on, every flip. That's really weird. I don't know if you heard me because you were talking, but I just slow, I just slowed down because I missed like four in a row. Decided to slow it down a little bit, and I got caught that one. Fifteen. Are we going? It's like fifteen and an eight. Fifth. It's fifteen and a quarter. What are we, 800 miles apart? And you, you just, you're doing the same. You caught your fish after you did the same thing that I did. Like I, I, I yeah, slowed down and just kind of calmed down a little bit. really like what I'm doing now. Oh, there's a better one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a big one, Dean, but it's, it's better. But I mean, digging that dig out of a bass's skull has been one of my favorite things to do. So here's what we do here. On This is the angler app for anybody who doesn't have this yet. All I got to do, hit that fish icon. I'm going to add a photo. How do I want to add the photo? I can do it through my gallery later, like if you're in a big hurry, like I kind of am, defaults to your phone. Take a picture. Boom. First fish picture I ever took of myself with headphones on. Looking good, man. That's okay. Add the length. How big was this one? 15 and three quarters. We're going 16. <laughs> Since it's a grudge match and I lost the first one, I can do that. Done. <laughs> and what's cool about this is I'm tracking my entire trip so I'm gonna have these little waypoints everywhere I caught one for the world to see there you go there is a good tutorial on how to use the angler app and we've got Dave's map pulled up right now you can see where he dropped that last waypoint you see the picture he took up here in the corner yeah pretty slick little deal the angler app if you don't have it you need it and the bullseye right there on the top of uh, Dave's head that you see can be used to mark those waypoints and enter those fish catches there you go Good job, Dave. That's five anyway. That's the smallest one. Fifteen and a half. He choked him. Yeah, so thank you. I got a thirteen and three. I don't know if you're already ahead of me on this one or not. You, do your, do your uh, sunglasses float? Do my sunglasses float? No. Yeah. Dude, you got to see this. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to be wearing these all next year. Yeah. Floating solar bath. Watch this. I'm exactly. doing it live. Yeah. They, and these are prescription. So these, uh -huh. are, these are heavier lenses. So when you get these, they're not going to have these lenses. But... Sunk like a rock. See him flip over? Yeah, it's pretty slick for real. Look at that. And I gotta go that, get him. That is nice. But that, you know why I wanted him to, to make these is for my kayak 
fishing. I started when I started kayak fishing, dude. I've lost three pairs of sunglasses since I started kayaking. I've only been doing it for like what two years. Have you lost a lot of sunglasses or no? Nope. Well, then you don't need floating sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta thank Jeff for the 250 horse torpedo. That could be, that could, that, you never know. Oh yeah. What do I need now, Shay? I can get 16 out of, and a quarter out of them. Let me get a picture. They're very, very spongy bites. Like if I switch to a with a lighter weight, lighter line. seconds. He's got to have it inside the boat too. So I remember we we made that roll last. I time. was waiting on that. 
Is that the gun? It's over. You I beat a guy with master in his name. It's over. You can't reel one in in 32 seconds. Whatever. It takes me 0.7 seconds to get my net out and net a fish. Oh, Dave's taking a bow. 20 seconds. I beat to go. a guy with master in his name. 10 seconds. Now I can't get one in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just looking at the seconds, and I'm like, whoa, I spoke a little bit too soon. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's the end of it. Zero seconds on the clock. He cheated. I want to recount. <laughs> that was quite the battle. Uh, it was very interesting, and I enjoyed it. Good job, guys. Congrats to Dave LaFebra on even it up one-to-one -one in the head-to-head -head mm -hmm. challenge. Just give us a little quick recap of what you used today to get it done. All right. Well, I'll show you first what I plan to use to get it done but i came out a couple hours early trying to find a backup you know something where i'm not giving away something that i spent 25 years finding so i that was the that's my pride and joy crankbait right there of course on the krankenstein 13 fishing boss reel i love these boss reels for anything where i'm gonna bomb something out there a half a mile i mean i can cast that thing so far but um, ended up with the jig in my hand, which happens a lot. Those are the two jigs right there, using the C2, new ones from 13, and V6, 7.6 heavy rods, 20-pound suffix, advanced fluorocarbon, and uh, just a green pumpkin, and it's starting to rain right now. Green pumpkin and a black. I thought I was going to catch them all on black, actually. Then I ended up not catching any any of them on that. I tied it on with 10 minutes to go before we started fishing, and that's what I caught all my fish on. So you just you just never know. But it was a lot of fun. I wish I could have showed you what Presque Isle Bay is really like, because I'm not sure how many I caught, maybe 12, yeah, something you like that. But probably 14 or 15. I caught yeah. three or four times that many, but just one of those days. Well, good job, Dave. Good job, Fluke. Enjoyed hanging out with you guys. And uh, we'll have to see it go down again for the best of three championship in the head-to-head -head matches between you two boys because y'all are one-to-one -one now. Man, thanks, Gene. A lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, it's next always time, fun. Next time you're in my boat, right, you're going to come up. I'm holding you to it. Yep, definitely. And if you ever get back down here to fish chick or anything, holler at me after the tournament. I'll do it. Just don't get your tail whipped like you did last time. <sighs> yeah, I know. Yep. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to get out of here. Y'all take care. All right, guys. All right. Yeah.